welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a house tour this is house tour part one i'll be touring the main floor and then you guys will see the other floors in the next two parts that will also be including a layout to the whole entire house as well and a speed build for this house should be coming soon anyways let's get right into this video so we have just a lot of plants it's really really open by the way that's what i like so much about this house is because it's so big so spacious and like literally everything it's too much room in a good way so look at all this custom planting and stuff i also do want to thank lucas for building this house he's doing this entirely himself which is amazing so thank you so much for that his channel and his previous speed builds or some just random speed builds will be linked up below so you guys can check him out this is the driveway of course so if you walk over here it's pretty empty over in this area we have the garage so it's like a four maybe mm, it's not a four car garage it's more of a three car garage with this car it's already crammed enough we just have the cars and then the bikes in here pretty much it and then that leads to a door that leads inside the house and then also you can kind of like step around the rocks and get to the backyard but i'll be saving that for another video so this is the front entry if you walk in this is the foyer 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 whatever you want to say i don't really care so it looks like it's pretty pretty cool pretty detailed over to the left is my office i like my office a lot because it's definitely my style my vibe in here and i don't know i can force my kids to do homework in here as well okay enough of that to so the other side we have the stairs upstairs and then the basement which the basement is almost completed so i can't wait for you guys to see that over here is the formal dining room which is not really used but it will be soon actually really not soon just whenever we eat fancy dinners i wanted to have like a really like clean dining room that was really big spacious and didn't have a lot going on just because i feel like it just i don't want it to look too crazy you know what i mean over here is the small guest bathroom it's super small but i didn't want to leave like this little piece of like room empty you know so we have like the sink and then the toilet pretty self-explanatory my goal for this house was to use textures materials wallpapers floors like stuff that i never would use just because i thought it'd be fun and it completes the whole house perfectly so i think it was perfect for that then next door we have the um laundry room and for those who are probably really really confused um this is supposed to be a dog shower for like bathing your dog or whatever so when they're muddy or whatever you can bathe them in this because i think i want to get a dog soon in this series so crossing our fingers it works out and yeah then just a lot of storage and plenty of space so i can do a ton of laundry so it's not super stressful i wanted to have a good looking laundry room so i would actually get motivation to do the laundry moving on we have the living room which is really cool um two living rooms actually this one's again like the formal one so Fancy dinners, fancy living room, like, area for talking and stuff. Yeah. So the left of us isn't very fancy, but we'll get to that later. Alrighty, so over here is the kitchen. Probably my favorite part because it's so spacious. It's, like, so much space to, like, cook food in. We have, like, this wine fridge. If you are underage, do not drink. It's just for the decorations, guys, I swear. And we have a microwave and just a lot of space and this is my first time ever having two fridges inside a house. I want to make sure I had like lots of food. So two fridges is plenty to store all that food. So this is like the eating counter. And then this counter is like the making food on counter. So yeah. And then we have like the dish area, more cabinet space, like plenty of cabinet space. This is my little corner, my coffee corner. And then down this little hallway, we have my garage, the door leading to the uh, driveway and then this is the butler's pantry for our little housekeeping lady we have all this pantry space which is yet to be filled um a sink tea lemonade which is like really random and then another oven and another oven is like what i needed because for like fancy dinners i needed like plenty of space to be able to cook multiple things at once so like that's great Okay, so let's go to the other side of the house. Over here, we have just more hanging out area. Like, we have a fancy table where you can set, like, all your bags and stuff by. 
or whatever just there's a lot of random stuff here a lot of books and stuff over here is the dining table that we as a family eat at instead of the formal one or most of the time just wherever besides the formal dining room so this is like the main table it's super nice and if we kind of go to the other side you get a really good view of the backyard which i think is the best part because you get to wake up in the morning and the sunrise is like right out there next up is our informal living space this is the where the tv is this is where all the kids go this is where everything's at super comfy couch i wanted like a really big one besides the one in the main formal living room we have again lots of storage for all of the decorations and then the tv where the kids watch their unicorn nothing too special about the main area because it's so much like usual stuff so again more decorations just scattered around the house if we go inside my bedroom one of the best parts of the house i think in my personal opinion because it's just humongous so i have two closets one to the left and one to the right this one is where all my clothes go of course this is a closet and this is where my vanity is so like my jewelry vanity um or sometimes my makeup vanity i use this a lot this space a lot and then to the other side is just more more of my my fancy stuff fancy bags all that fun stuff and then again a view to the backyard which we close me change okay next up let's see where should we go to the right i love this space so much because it's totally my style like i was saying about the space is it's so cozy it's so nice in here like so quiet and it's like a separate space from the rest of the house for just me because there's so much space in here everything is like my style in here everything's just so like perfect in this area so this is like my main area my beds over here my tv fireplace a lot of seating out here there's no furniture yet but this is my balcony it's again like one of my favorite parts of this whole entire house it's just oh my gosh it's so cool then if we leave this area we have this living space over here another like area just like talking whatever i don't really know relaxing and then this room is the big master bathroom master suite whatever you want to call it over here is the toilet space then we have the shower the double shower the big sink the bathtub which is glitching i swear it's here then we have this area over here just like there's a lot of space for like all my toiletries whatever you say like just bathroom products i guess which is great because I, I have a lot. Again, I wanted this space to be like really my style. Like a, what if you call it? Like an oasis, I guess. Just because I want to be able to like have something completely different from the rest of the house. And feel like I'm actually at a resort. Which is the whole plan of like what I was going for. So everything about that is just perfect. So if we leave my little hotel room, whatever you want to call it. We're actually going to head upstairs just so we can combine these both because I know you guys have seen the main level. So what's there to this video if I don't show you guys the upstairs, which should be all new to you guys except a few rooms. So if we head upstairs, this is completely new. We have more furniture around here. Let's go over here first. This is the kids playroom play area. Not really a playroom, but this area is super cool because it's a loft so I can see them from almost like any room in this main part of the house so i can make sure they're safe this area has all the toys that they could ever need ever want like all the toys they love except it all matches with the house so it doesn't look too crazy with like all the neons and everything which is great because i didn't really want like pink blues purples like hanging around upstairs i just don't think it would have looked good down here we have the guest bathroom another half bath for the guests and then the toddler bedroom this is ruby's bedroom i love this bedroom it's adorable it's a perfect size and when she grows up she can also have this room it'll be perfect because she also has her own bathroom so her bathroom looks like this she has a shower bathtub a sink some soaps toilet all the stuff i went for a green and pink color scheme a little bit of yellow maybe blues in here as well but i just love everything about this all the paintings toys textures everything about this room is like it's just ruby like you can just see ruby which is what makes it great 
leaving her room we have the last two bedrooms we're gonna save lucy's for the last so this is the big guest bedroom i'd like to call this the guest suite because it does have a bathroom to it which is nice so big bed um everything a guest could need this really cool this really nice seating bench area um so they can look out really good view to the from the front of the house we have their walk-in closet as well plenty of space for them to leave their clothes and then just a lot of extra pictures decorations we're gonna go to the jack and joe bathroom so the guests share with lucy but technically lucy gets her own bathroom because we don't have guests very often besides uncle joe but this is the bathroom very big the showers very big as well lots of storage basically the same as my bath not really the same but the same vibe is going on we're gonna head out this room and tour our last room of this house tour part one this is lucy's bedroom this is my absolute favorite kids bedroom in this whole entire house even though we already have like just two but it's fine um i love the colors love the view everything about it is perfect in the morning the sun with the way it goes through the window is like amazing it's so cool her bed is super cute all the colors in here the details the wall trimming we have her closet which i saw this clothing hack on tiktok and genius by the way you can do these custom clothes now so i'm starting to fill up her closet but that's really all to the house the main floor and the upstairs anyways that brings us to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the part two of this house tour where i'll be showing you guys the basement and the backyard and the layouts be sure to like subscribe and comment down below turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a brand new video and follow all my social medias and everything where you can find me down below do not follow my instagram though please do not follow my instagram whatsoever that account got hacked for you all to hear because i know i didn't really make a clear enough announcement yes my account on instagram did get hacked so please do not follow it instead report it so they delete it be sure like i said to stick around and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone